Last Saturday was two years since Putin started a full-scale war against Ukraine. And the worst has happened. Everyone got used to the war. Here and there, people start to say, well, we'll have to come to an agreement with Putin anyway. And then Putin killed my husband, Alexei Navalny. On his orders, Alexei was tortured for three years. He was starved in a tiny stone cell. Cut off from the outside world and denied visits, phone calls, and then even letters. And then they killed him. Even after that, they abused his body and abused his mother. On the one hand, the public murder has once again showed everyone that Putin is capable of anything and, and that you cannot negotiate with him. If you really want to defeat Putin, you have to become, to become an innovator. You, are, you have to stop being boring. You cannot hurt Putin with another resolution or another set of sanctions. That is no different from the previous ones. You cannot defeat him by thinking he is a man of principle who has morals and rules. He is not like that, and Alex Alexei realized that a long time ago. You are not dealing with a politician, but with a bloody monster. I thought that in 12 days since Alexei's murder, I would have time to prepare for this speech. But first, we spent a week, a week getting Alexei's body and organizing funeral. Then I chose the cemetery and coffin. The funeral will take place the day after tomorrow. And I'm not sure yet whether it will be peaceful or whether the police will arrest those who have come to say goodbye to my husband. Putin must answer for what he has done with my country. Putin must answer for what he has done to a neighboring peaceful country. And Putin must answer for everything he has done to Alexei. My husband will never see what the beautiful Russia of the future will look like but we must see it. And I will do my best to make his dream come true. The evil will fall and the beautiful future will come. Thank you.